Hello everyone, um, it's Cheryl Bricky from Meadow Mist Designs. I am here for the October little tips and tricks uh, to go over the instructions. Um, it is two o'clock, just after two o'clock my time. I did say that I would go one on one and I do truly apologize for the delay. I am a mom, um, first and foremost, and my children were having some issues with their virtual schooling. Uh, so I guess I guess I can blame Corona. I uh, so I thank you for your patience and understanding and I do apologize but um, I, you know my kids have to come before Facebook live so I hope you understand that um, and so I also you know I usually try to do my hair so I look a little bit better for you guys um, but I have some people just um, just watching uh, so if you have any questions as you go on um, and a recording of this will be available after I will post it to the Facebook group. So you can welcome, uh, you're welcome to watch it at any time. Um, and so this month we are doing some strip piecing. So I thought I would come on quickly, um, describe what we're going to be making, um, give you some tips and tricks, what I do for some successful strip piecing uh, to get the good results. So um, we're making... I'm calling them single Irish units and double Irish units, but basically we're making two different strip sets, cutting them and then sewing them on. So the most important things, and I am just gonna switch my camera around. Here we go. And I was actually lucky. Um, these are the strips from my, um, my mystery quilt. And so it winds up that you want, you know, you create a few extras. The most important thing when making a strip set, I believe, is making sure that you have your scant quarter of an inch. So before you go and sew all of your strips together and then measure them, after you make one, I would go and look and make sure, it's hard to see from a ruler here. I'll hold it up a little bit so you can see it's right at the two inches. This is the, the first one you were supposed to be making. So the blue here goes right up to an inch and a quarter, and then from an inch and a quarter to the two is, is mine. So if these are too, if this winds up being too small, that means your seam allowance was too large. If it winds up too large, it means your seam allowance was too small. Typically, if I have an error or I have an issue with making my strip sets, it always winds up that they're too narrow versus too wide. I, I almost never have um, the issue where they're too wide. Uh, so one way you can test that, if you don't want to do it with a full strip, you can just use two or three sections of fabric, sew them together, iron them, and see kind of where you're coming out and adjust that. But definitely adjust it before you do all of your strip sets. Now, if, now this is just a tip in general for strip sets. If I was always sewing with the blue on top of the white for these two, and then I went to sew them together, if I sewed them all the same direction, you might wind up with a happy face where instead of having a nice straight one, it starts curving. So that's, this is not for this particular pattern, but in general, if you are doing a whole bunch of strips that are sewn together, especially these skinnier ones, starting at different edges. And so you start from this direction down, and then when you join them, you sew from that up. So sewing them from different directions will help them stay nice and even. My second tip, and you guys pop in um, with any sort of questions, is I recommend pressing your seams open. Now, um, someone left a comment in the, um, in the post itself and said if you press... If you don't press the seams to the side, you can't nest them. And that is, that is co totally correct. That is one of the nice things that when you do press, you know, if these were both pressed to the blue, you know, you could go like this and you could kind of go and, and lock those together. However, um, I find that when I try to press these to the side, if I'm trying to press, you can see you just start doing it I wind up stretching the fabric and it doesn't wind up nice and straight like this one. It kind of starts curving. So just for me, 
I found if you're gonna go and get it nice and straight by going like this and then you're, you sit there and your iron is pressing, you see that just stays nice and flat. When you're starting to do that, I just wind up start, I start pushing the fabric. And also when you do press to the side, it might change how wide your strip set winds up being. So when you are testing to make sure your scant quarter is really a scant quarter and you do the pressing, make sure you're gonna press the way you're going to in this. Um, so if you are gonna press open, do your test strips pressed open. Um, but I do have in the instructions, if you like to press to the side in these strip sets, um, it's not going to affect any, um, you're not gonna wind up with any really thick seams or anything later on. So I do have in the instructions that you could press open or to the dark side, because you know. Um, so both of those would work fine, but I do recommend just try it. Um, I think you'll find that your strip sets do wind up being a little bit straighter. Now, when you're cutting your strip set, what I do is, let me make sure I'm gonna be cutting where you can see it. There we go. So these are my two, my two little salvage ends. The first thing I do is I trim those off. And I do this by lining up this center seam with one of the lines on my, uh, my ruler. So we already know that our, our strip is the right size. And that most important thing, if I'm gonna have any issues, I can you know hide some of this, whatever's happening here, in some other seams. So I like to make sure that the center line is what I'm really focused on. So I trim that, throw that away, and then laying it out, I then trim here and let me see if I can, I'm just gonna move this for a second just so you can, I'll hold it just so you can see a little bit better. You can see the seam is right on that line and then the cut edge is right there. So I have that beautiful T and so I know that when I cut and I'm I'm gonna just pretend to cut because I'm holding this with one hand. So, you know, you wanna hold your ruler. Obviously I only have one hand. I'm gonna get it nice and straight. Now, after you cut a bunch, you know, as you're cutting, you might wind up where if I put this in the middle, this starts to look like it's not even. Or, you know, if, I'm, if I line it up here, it winds up being like I have to line it up kind of offset. And in that case, I would just reset it. I kind of move it over a little bit, make sure that this middle is, I make a new cut, and then I can always turn this one around and then continue to cut it. So I'm gonna put this back, whoop, just so I can show you again. So here's this and you just, you just cut, cut, but if it starts to get a little wonky, you can either just cut it larger or then do that, or you can, there's nothing wrong with turning it over and giving, you know, giving a new little thing. You're gonna have enough that you can go and, you know, trim a little off to make sure it's even again. So then once you have your two pieces for the double Irish, you're just gonna go like this. I will put them like that and then look and make sure that that, boop, make sure it's focusing. Make sure I really like where that is and I'll put a pin there and then as I approach it, I take out the pin so I don't sew over the pin and bad things happen. And then I would go and press this open and then you'd wind up with your, whoop, there's your little double, your double Irish. So this month really shouldn't, um, it's obviously not as much work and trimming as, uh, as last month with the Hasker triangles. So this should go a little bit quicker, I think, um, but you have the whole month. I know that some people have already finished it, which is awesome. Um, but those are my tips is the first off, make sure you have your, your scant quarter and test your whole, test your strip, um, making sure that it is the right size. Secondly, when you are doing your trimming, I'm kind of guide off of that center seam. And that way, if anything is happening, it can it can wind up in the uh, the seam allowance. Can kind of take that up if there are any any issues there. 
and then pressing open, it really, it lays a lot flatter for me and it's a lot straighter. And so if you wind up, if you had this whole strip and say you noticed as you're cutting, maybe your, your quarter inch wasn't quite consistent and this whole middle winds up a little bit too small, just cut from both sides and leave that. Um, this is the extra that I had from making my quilt. So you do have enough that you don't have to go and cut every single one into every single piece. You will have some extra. So you, if there's an area, you know, a chunk that you don't like the way it was sewn or when you pressed it, it kind of wrinkled, you can easily leave that part out and you'll, pro you'll, have, um, you'll still be fine for the quilt top. So those are my little tips for today. Um, they're not, ooh, here I am. They're not as magical as the, uh, the half square triangle pressing um, instructions that I had learned from Paige, but um, this, is how, this is how I do it. And, you know, just try it. Try it if you're not one that likes to press open, you know, just give it a, give it a try and, you know, let me know in the comments below. And before I go, um, I did see that there's a number of comments from people that are having issues downloading the instructions from the website. So if you are having issues, um, it helps one to go onto your computer versus a phone or an iPad, download the file from Google Drive. So click the download button and save it onto your, your own hard drive. Open that up again and then print it. Sometimes people have issues printing directly from Google Drive and sometimes Google Drive doesn't play so well with um, cell phones and iPads. Uh, so that might be some of the issue people are having. If you continue to have issues, please don't leave a comment 100 down that you're having trouble because I won't be able to see it. I, um, so send me an email. It's meadowmistdesigns at gmail.com. Send me an email and say, hey, I'm having trouble with the file. I will be very happy to email it to you directly, um, and hopefully that would work better for you. Um, so, hey, Oon, how are you doing? Um, so, uh, let me just make sure, go through, I don't, I got, I'm getting a notice, everything, oh, here we go. Could you, there's one question, could you spin the seams on the four patch blocks for less bulk and not affects later steps? Yes, you totally can do that. How the seams are pressed in this, these units do not affect, um, they don't interact with other seams in, in, the, uh, in the quilt top. So you can press them any way you want. So if you do like to go and press them to the side and make that kind of little pinwheel, that, that works perfectly fine. So I hope that answered your question. Yes, yeah, so this one, you know, try it, try it both ways. Make one strip set where you press to the side, press one open, um, you know. Figure out what you what you like, and let me just make sure that I didn't miss any other questions. And if I did, you know, write them again. Um, hi, Tamara. Hi from Freeport, Illinois. Um, so yeah, so that is what we have going on today. I hope I hope that helps a little bit. Um, once again, um, if you missed the beginning, I truly apologize. Uh, I had said that I was going to be on at one, and I didn't make it on until two because of some virtual learning um, issues with my children. Um, they're in fifth and eighth grade and we were having some emergencies with the internet and uh, so I needed to help them. Um, so yes, uh, we you like to nest this side. Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. I just personally, when I'm, especially when you have those really thin strip sets, they just have a tendency as I'm trying to press them, I probably iron them more than I should and they do wind up kind of shifting on me. So I just find that the doing it straight, doing the pressing open just works better for me. So I will leave you guys. Um, so if you have the replay, if you have any questions, you can leave them below and I will try to come back in and monitor them. But addition, if you guys are having any issues with the um, downloading the file, please let me know. Um, I just, I can't, I can't be looking at all the comments and making sure that I'm, I'm getting everyone and I don't want to miss anyone. So meadowmistdesigns at gmail.com um, and I will, uh, I will help you out. Okay. Thank you all so much and I will see you soon.